Hello viewers, welcome back to an, another video on Autodesk Power Mill tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a drilling tool path using angular head attachment for your vertical machining center. This attachment is e easily available in the market so that you can use this attachment for your angular hole machining. First, we will start from work plane creation. I delete my existing tool paths here. So select my top surface and create a work plane at the top of this part, like this. So I also rename for output for my further references. And now I'm going to create a drilling tool path, which is a deep drilling operation. So for this, I have pre-created whole feature set. I'm going to select these two. And uh, work plane, you should be create another work plane where the work plane z-axis should be perpendicular to this face. It, it is not necessary to be placed exactly at the center, but as long as your z-axis is faced perpendicular to this phase is enough fact. And now your uh, tool got selected and specify your operations parameters here. Under rapid moves, select the same output work plane, which is not the tool path work plane, this work plane, and uh, specify some save distance here, calculate and uh, calculate the tool path also. Once you calculate, you can see that tool path got created like this. It's well away from the path and it is moves very safely also. You can see the simulation for this. So you can see that it is moved away from the path from a height and it moves safely towards the drilling hole actually. Once it is done the first hole, and again, it is moved safely to the second hole also. So now let us create in the second side also. So for that, I just copy this tool path here. Go to the second side, activate the tool path, settings, refresh, and uh, in this case, select the second feature set, which is available in this side, and create a work plane for this one also, where your Z should be perpendicular to that face. And if everything is fine, calculate. Okay, now you can see it is created in the other side also. Now, go and create the NC program. So the first one, right click, create individual NC program, right click over settings and specify your directory to save NC program. And for the post processor, you can use your existing three axis post processor because it's a vertical machining center. You don't need to create a uh, or by any multi-axis post processor in this one. Select that same post processor which you have. And in output work plane, select the output work plane here, which is at the center top Z. And make sure automatic tool alignment is off. And you can verify with your machine supplier, any special code is available for this attachment during side operation so that you can use the cannot cycle as usual. If it is not, you can switch off the drilling cycle action. This will give you in Z1 output action. So if everything is done and apply, write it. You can open this in an external program here. So now you can see this NC programs written. So it's moved X minus 270 and it is positioning the Z in whole center. 
then it is moving in G1 for drilling operation. It is linear codes, not cannot cycle here. If there is any special code is available, uh, you can able to configure that in your post processor. And in the second hole also, it is get completed. So like that, you can able to generate you the tool path for your angular head attachment for your vertical machining center.